right. I am joined by Devon. <laughs> See, you freaked me out. And <laughs> what? You were fine. It, I got it though, didn't I? You did. You're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Ms. Reeves. <laughs> no, it's not going to be that formal. No, it's Devon. Come on, Jason. We got. We can do it. Okay, you can call me. Okay, I'll let you slide. You can do Devon because my mom calls me Devon, so it's all right. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll get it wrong. Hotel owner, author, consultant, coming to us from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. How are you doing, Jason? I'm okay. I'm doing it's all right. Okay. <laughs> it's been one, been, one, been one of those weeks. <laughs> we're, we're halfway through January. You know, it's you know, 21 days into 2021. You just okay? You should be fantastic. I should be. I should be. What am, what am I thinking? I'm ashamed of myself. So, uh, you, you and your college roommate did something the other day. This is what caught my eye. You guys bought a hotel amid a pandemic. Just a little something. Just a little something. You know, just a little bit. <laughs> so tell us about your hotel. Sure, absolutely. So we uh, recently acquired, um, we were actually partnered with Nassau Investments, or the, um, uh, they're known as a hospitality group. Um, we partnered with them and we recently acquired a home two suites by Hilton in the lovely city of El Reno, Oklahoma. Um, it's home to the original route to uh, um, Route 66. It's about uh, probably less than 40 minutes outside of Oklahoma City. It's called, what's the town called? El Reno, Oklahoma. El Reno. Okay. I mean, El Reno's been getting so much press. They're probably like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Nobody's ever heard of this before. We're famous. Yeah. <laughs> I never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that until we bought the hotel. <laughs> So, but, um, so that's really cool, uh, that you, uh, managed to do that. I mean, you, um, so you're, you're high on <laughs> buying hotels in a down market. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're, we're looking to acquire some more. Oh, wow. We're not finished. We're just getting started. Yeah. And you authored, um, uh, something called a pathway to hotel ownership, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I created this. Um, it was a free guide um, for folks who were looking to get into the hotel space as far as ownership and they didn't know where to start. So basically, I created a guide and it's the acquisition process, um, you know, from the beginning to the end, more high level. I started off with talking about how it's important for you to create your ownership thesis, you know, starting your investment criteria to the importance of bringing, you know, building a team um, that's working with an asset man, an experienced hotel asset manager or consultant working with a broker, um, you know, talk about as far as, um, you know, where you can find a hotel. A lot of people, I get that question like, well, where can I, where, where can I find a hotel? So provide some, um, some insights, some different websites, and also my contact information. Cause I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, I offer, um, online courses as well. So, um, yeah, thank, thank you for bringing that up. Well, yeah. I mean, you did follow your own advice when you bought this hotel, right? You know what? I did. <laughs> Good for you. you did it. It worked. It's a proven concept. <laughs> it's a proven concept. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, so, so yeah. So now's a good time to buy a hotel. It is a great time to buy a hotel. It's always a great time, but now it's really a great time to buy a hotel. Yeah. Cause there's, I mean, I'm starting to hear more and more of, you know, uh, healthy hotel groups or healthy investors, you know, are taking advantage of, hotels that just 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 getting hammered yeah yeah i mean i like to look at the upside of that you know we're coming in we're saving jobs you know some of these hotels are being dev devastated and they have to close door they have to give their keys back to the banks and you know we're coming in and we're saving jobs you know we're saving jobs some folks who probably didn't have health benefits before you know you come in and you bring a new operator a larger operator because a lot of these hotels are independently owned so they didn't have the they didn't have necessarily the infrastructure to, to bring in a third party uh, management company. And so, you know, with the acquisition of some of these larger companies and uh, different ownership groups, such as myself, we're coming in and we're bringing operators um, to essentially, like I said, you know, create jobs and, and to not only create jobs, create careers. A lot of people don't realize that the hospitality industry is one of the few industries where you can start off to be a dishwasher and become a CEO. Well, this is your first hotel to own, right? Correct on my own. Um, previously, I worked um, for C H M Warnick and Horrock HTL, where we I consulted hotel owners and 
worked for worked as a third party um third party asset management group so this is the first time on my own yes so what is your go is your history go back further than that with hotels or oh yeah started as a friend as agent so for all my ops <laughs> folks who are listening in we are one big happy family yeah <laughs> so as an owner so i talk to a lot of revenue managers and as an owner I like them too. they're good people they're very good people <laughs> yeah. Mark uh, too. yeah they're kind of weird though sometimes no they're good <laughs> uh they are i mean i would think now that they're in more high demand i know that's probably counterintuitive because demand is low, but uh, I just got in the, getting the impression more and more that hotels with a revenue management function, whatever that might look like, you know, is, is really better off uh, in the long run than without. I don't know if you have a take on that. No, revenue managers are definitely needed. Um, regardless if you have a full-time revenue manager, you have a shared revenue manager, even, even if you bring in a revenue consultant. Um, I, we have a revenue um, um, department um, within, because uh, Commonwealth Hotels, they actually manage our property. Um, but I also recommend to first-time hotel owners, you know, if they decide to do the owner-operated model, I recommend for them to get a revenue management consultant um, because it's so crucial and it's so important to really have someone who understands how to manage the rates, how to forecast rates, to really uh, position yourself so that way you can be not only competitive in the market, but make sure that you're not leaving any rates, any money on the table. Yeah. So with the time remaining, any advice for hoteliers as we continue <laughs> through this? We, we were just getting started. Um, <laughs> My, my, my advice for first time hotel owners is to definitely work with an experienced professional. Um, there are a lot of, uh, you know, hotel consultants, um, or newly hotel consultants because, you know, they've been furloughed, unfortunately. And these are, I mean, tap into some great resources, you know, work yeah. with them, have them help you set up your shop, help them help you operate your hotel. Um, so that way you can be profitable. I teach people not only to become hotel owners, but but I teach people to become successful hotel owners, meaning I want you to make money and be profitable and build a portfolio. Well, thank you for joining me. <sighs> thank you, Jay. We have to do this again for another we'll 10 minutes. Again. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> All right.